then a major ninth arpeggio. <laughs> Okay, you sing all the scales, sing the harmonies, and then in practice incrementalism. And then the next step we want to do are playing scale sequences. Scale sequences. We talked about one arpeggio sequence. There's plenty more. Believe me, there's plenty more. Okay, so scale sequences. Scale sequences are broken down numerically first, okay? You've got seven notes in the scale. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one. So we're going to start with two note sequences. Why? What's a one note sequence? We can't have them. There's no one note sequence. One, 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 okay? It's not physically possible to have a one note sequence, right? So the next step is a two note sequence. So you can have, that's a two note sequence. One, two. Now if you go up the scale, you're gonna go one, two, and then two, three, and then three, four, then four, five, then five, six, six, seven, seven, one. So, one, two, two, three, Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, one. You see how it works? Two note sequence number one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, one. Now, 100% out of 100% of the guys I teach this to do it wrong. Okay? And what everybody does is I show them this one, two, two, three, three, four, and they go. Uh, no, no, no. It's not one, one, two, two, three, three. It's one, two, pause, two, three, pause, three, four, pause, four, five, and they go. And I go, no, 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 or in seven, no, 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 no. Okay, one, two, two, three, sounds like this. they're doing sounds like this. Different, isn't it? Here's this here's the two note sequence. Here's what they're doing. Two totally different things. And everybody falls back on another one because this one's hard to do. It's unusual for you guys because you've never been exposed to it. Now these sequences are used tons by jazz musicians and jazz piano players, specifically Chick Corea and Keith Jarrett. They love seconds, you know, they like over A minor, they'll solo. Cascading is what it's good for, up and down the scale. Do da do da do da do da do da do da, right? So that's what it's good for. It's cascading against like really slow ballads and stuff like that. It's a good sequence. The next sequence is still two. We're still in two note sequences, all right? So we did one, two, two, three, right? Well, now the next sequence, we're not going to do the second note as number two. The next sequence, we're going to the second note, we're going to modify. So instead of doing number two, we're going to modify to the next note, which is three. <clears throat> so we're going to go one, three. So it sounds like this. One, three. This is thirds. So we're going one, three, and then two, four. Three, five. Four, six. Five, seven. Six, one. Seven, two. 
one three. So that's called third. So we play a scale. One three, two four, three five, four six, five seven, six one. So we're gonna go. You don't know how to do it like this. Okay, we're gonna turn this on again. Go to 60. There's 60 right here. So we're gonna do quarter notes. Now the skill here involves in doing it accurate and slow and not being bored. Two notes for beat. That's two notes for beat. Now the next one, three notes for beat, using thirds, we're using a two note sequence with three notes for beat. Let me say that again. It's a two note sequence, but we're doing three notes for beat. So we're doing triplets with a two note sequence. So this is gonna be weird for all you guys. All the really good players can do it. But if you guys think you know what you're doing, let's play tri let's play triplets, let's play thirds and triplets. Thirds and triplets sounds like this. Here's triplets. <laughs> Here's thirds and triplets. never did that one before huh well I teach that to all my students they all play it they all do it everybody who is any good they got it down as part of their repertoire you should be able to do triplets and thirds just get it done do it you know it's not a big deal it's not an amazing thing a lot of jazz guys have been doing it for centuries you know actually not centuries. jazz guys jazz hasn't only existed for only one century so musicians have been doing triplets and thirds Chopin Mozart Bach all these guys know how to do all that they did you know all right, so now.